Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and happy Father's Day to all the mothers that have to play both roles. Um, we went to my aunt's house for Father's Day. We had a celebration. We came home. The kids got in the pool. While we were outside, I got an email from one of my moderators. Shout out to my moderator for sending me this information. The Jen Harley, Ronnie Ortiz Magro's baby mama was in jail. So let me give you guys the details on just what we know. It's actually not a lot, but it's a little. So it says here, Jen Harley has been arrested for domestic battery and assault with a deadly weapon. She was taken into custody in Vegas Saturday night and booked for domestic battery and assault with a deadly weapon. She remains in custody at the Clark County Detention Center. Her bond was set at $5,000. A court hearing was set for later today. I did um, get online to see if I could find out what happened at court. There's nothing online right now to say what the outcome of that hearing has been. But if something does come out in the next few hours, I'll post it on my community tab. If there's an article or anything that comes out tomorrow letting us know what took place at the hearing, I'll post another video tomorrow to give you guys an update on that. But right now, from everything that we know, she is still in jail and her bond is $5,000. We know that Jen and Ronnie, they have had a very violent past, even after their breakup, it's been pretty violent. They have a child together. Now, a lot of people may wonder, is Ronnie involved in this in any way? No, not that I'm aware of. He did post on his Instagram that he is at Disney with his daughter, Ariana. So, it doesn't look like he is involved in this in any way. Authorities are not saying who the alleged victim is. However, the one thing that we do know is they are co-owners of a home together in the area, in the Vegas area. So, I'm assuming, like, maybe it's her boyfriend. I know she has a boyfriend. It seems like they've been together for, like, a year or so. Maybe they're very serious. So, maybe it's the boyfriend. That's just me guessing. I'm not really sure. Um, Jen has been arrested in the past. Back in 2019 sometime, she allegedly threw a glass ashtray at Ronnie. She was arrested for that. That didn't stick. Somehow, not really sure, but she didn't really do any time for that. On June 24th, she was arrested and charged with domestic battery after an incident in which it was alleged that she briefly dragged Ronnie with her car while their daughter was in the back seat. She was released from the Clark County Detention Center the following day after posting a $3,000 bail. The Clark County District Attorney's Office confirmed to people that there was insufficient evidence to prosecute her. She didn't do any time for that. One night. We will see what's going to happen. Ronnie has a past, too, where he's been arrested several times. He was arrested this past April for domestic violence. He was already on probation. However, the... Uh, District Attorney's Office decided they would not charge him for that incident. Ronnie was arrested for kidnapping back in October 2019 after allegedly striking Jen and wielding a knife at her and then taking their daughter from her and going into the Airbnb they were renting in LA and locking himself inside. The cops were called when they arrived. Ronnie refused to come out, so they actually had to bust in and tase him and then placed him under arrest. Jen had bruises and scrapes from that altercation. A neighbor actually had surveillance footage of Jen like running from what I, I, we would assume would be Ronnie. She ran behind a car. She tried to get over a fence. She had her daughter with her. A few days later, she was spotted at a Starbucks wearing like really short shorts where her bruises were very visible. I remember Snooki commented on that saying that she felt like Jen was just looking for attention from that. So this whole situation, you guys, holy smokes. There is a three-year-old involved in this. A three-year-old. Oh, look how adorable. She's three and she has parents who are constantly being arrested. I mean, I say constantly, Ronnie three times, Jen three times, all within like the past three years. That's a lot. I would have to imagine her life is not as stable as it should be for her. I'm going to keep up with the story and see what happens, you guys. Like I said earlier, Ronnie is not involved in the situation to my understanding. He's at Disney with Ariana. So, she was not with her mom when this incident took place. Thank God. Now, she has been with her parents in the past when things have popped off. When Ronnie was arrested last time, she was in his care. So, she has witnessed 
some violence in her short little three years. We just need them to get it together. Like, Jen, Ronnie, get it together. Ronnie actually left the show. He said that him and the MTV uh, producers agreed that it would be in the best interest of everyone if he took a step back to work on his mental health. He said that it was actually problems that he had been ignoring for a while, so he was going to get some help. Hopefully he is. Someone needs to do better for this little girl. I mean, my goodness. I'll keep up with you guys. You guys leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Jen Harley arrested for domestic battery and assault with a deadly weapon. Any information that's going to come out, I will be keeping up with it to either post it on my community tab or make another video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And leave me your thoughts in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.